Hello everyone, I am Ramacharan, 4th year ECE, A Senior College. Today, we are here with an interesting topic, Basic Signals and their Applications. First, Unit Impulse Signal. A Unit Impulse Signal is represented by del of t and it is defined as del of t equals to infinite for t equals to 0 and del of t equals to 0 for t not equal to 0. Graphically, it is represented like this. At t equals to 0, there is a white arrow. It tells us that at t equals to 0, its magnitude is infinite. The definition also includes area under del of t equals to 1. That's why we call it as a unit impulse signal. The real-time applications of this signal is any arbitrary signal can be represented by weighted sum of shifted impulses. By knowing the weighted sum of a signal, a weighted sum of a signal, we can know the output for any unknown input in an LTI system by knowing the impulse response of the system H of t. The output Y of t equals to X of t convolved with H of t. Mathematically, it is Y of t equals to minus infinite to infinite X of tau H of t minus tau d tau. Next, we are having a unit step signal. A unit step signal is represented by u of t and it is defined as u of t equals to 1 for t greater than 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Graphically, if we see a t equals to 0, this is a sudden rise and after that the signal has an amplitude equal to 1. For t greater than 0, it has an amplitude equal to 1. For t less than 0, it is 0. That's why we call it as a unit step signal. Its amplitude is 1. The real-time applications of this signal is, we can know the time domain specifications of a control system of, by applying a unit step signal. And one more application is, we can know how quickly a system responds to a sudden change in the input. Next, unit ramp signal. Unit ramp signal is represented by R of t and it is defined as R of t equals to t for t greater than 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Graphically, it is a straight line passing through origin. We call it as a unit tram signal because it has a slope equal to 1. The practical application of this signal is, it is used to know the threshold voltage of a device. That is, as T increases, R of T also increases. So, by giving this signal as input, we can know at which point the device gets burned. So, we can know the threshold value or how much the device can withstand, how much input voltage a device can withstand. And one more application of this signal is, the limited sense of ramp signal forms a sawtooth waveform. This sawtooth waveform is used in CROs as a tracer. It traces the input signal. Next, we are having a signal function. It is represented by SGN of t and it is defined as for t greater than 0, its value is equal to 1. For t less than 0, it has value equal to minus 1. It is a graphical representation of a sign signum function. For t greater than 0, it has a value equal to 1. For t less than 0, it has a value equal to minus 1. The practical application of this signal is, it is used in a comparator circuit. As you can see, we have Vi and Vref. If Vi is greater than this V reference value, it produces a, a Vsat value that is plus 1. If V in is less than V reference, it produces minus 1 or minus Vsat signal. The next signal is rectangular signal. It is represented by A rec T by T. The if it, we define the signal as A rec T by T equals to A for t between minus t by 2 to t by 2, 0 otherwise. This is the graphical representation of this signal. Between minus t by 2 to t by 2, it has an amplitude equal to a and 0 elsewhere. The real-time application of this signal is, it is used in digital communications and digital electronics to represent binary 1. Next, we are having a triangular signal. A triangular signal is represented by a tri t by it is defined as a tri t by t equals to a into 1 minus mod t by t for values of t between minus t to t and 0 otherwise. 
it is the graphical representation of a triangular signal. Practically, this signal is used in musical instruments as it has higher harmonics. I think now you all know the basic signals and their applications. Thank you.